Hey guys, how are you doing? <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen you, John and Corey. Yeah, it's been a bit. Yeah. So, um, are you guys <laughs> have been busy <laughs> making people laugh, or with being, you know, uh, quarantined and isolated? How is that working for you guys right now? Uh, yeah, I mean, of course, I do shows daily still uh, in front of a large audience. Of, um, <laughs> my yard uh we got two dogs uh yeah i lots of zoom calls <laughs> okay yeah um plus you know the shows that get canceled because we're we're all uh quarantined uh -oh. so, yeah lots so, uh, of audio it's, it's there, been fun that, uh... what's that Corey? are you there yeah Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of, um, yeah, John's breaking up a little bit. I could hear a little bit of what he's saying, but the, the audio is kind of bad. Okay. That's pretty much describes every comedy show I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> that <is. laughs> That's pretty much every critic's uh, comment. He's breaking up pretty bad. It was <laughs> hard to understand. What about you, Corey? Yeah, well, yeah, uh, comedy without people is tough. So, um, yeah, there's there's not been a whole lot a whole lot that I've been able to do with uh, with everything everything being shut down. I, you know, I know some comics are making some little little videos and stuff and posting them, but um, but yeah, in terms of in terms of stand up, we're pretty much pretty much shut down. Um, unless John and I do a show in his backyard or something. Kind of stuff like everybody else. <laughs> well, what's what? What? How about the idea of uh, doing it online and just putting an event together? Yeah, I mean, there's there's actually been a lot of uh, comics, a lot of opportunities I've seen for uh, people doing comedy, just you know, on video, like you said, or through a live stream, one of the social media sites, uh, YouTube Lives, doing a lot of that, and yes, they're using other platforms, and then they're. You know, it's even that's a little bit weird. It's a different rhythm because you don't hear the regular laughter kind of a thing. And, and there's yes. an audience. But I do think that we're in a time where people are looking for some level of hope, some level of joy. Uh, they're getting cooped up. You know, even if you like your family at this point, you're getting kind of tired of it. Uh, so uh, I think that I think it's great. I, I just we actually just short. Right before the quarantine started, I did begin a podcast, uh, okay. com Comedy Food Truck, uh, which is uh, a podcast that I'm a part of with a couple guys. And um, we are talking about doing a live podcast, like, you know, maybe using the platforms and doing some of them live just to try to help uh, invite people in and have a chat while we do our podcast. So I think there's definitely some opportunities there for uh, people to use the platforms. Have you thought about being live on YouTube? Yeah, no, actually, it's one of the things we're looking at is doing like a YouTube live, possibly Facebook live, maybe even simultaneously kind of a thing. So we're doing that, looking at that with the podcast, but also, yes, with some performances, uh, maybe trying to do, uh, Corey mentioned videos, but even some live spots, uh, just trying to do what we can to help people, you know, nurse through this, uh, this epidemic or the actually pandemic. Yeah. yeah, I think, you know, it's it's going to be such a good idea because, you know, right now I am by myself and I'm like going nuts, not being around people. So imagine if I'm watching you, John or Corey, and you guys having your own event, it would be great for me and just have a good laugh, you know, even though I'm by myself here. Oh, my gosh. But anyway, still, you know, by you guys doing this, I think it will help a lot of people, especially with what's going on. and feeling depressed. I mean, I saw a post from a girl who was crying because she just couldn't bear being at home and she didn't know what to do. So, I right. mean, seriously, it's really kind of sad to see that. And, um, and, and you guys are so talented that you can make them all laugh and just lighten up and, you know, just get through this process. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's definitely, an, it's a great opportunity. I think a little bit like being in prison right so it's uh yeah charge charge people but instead of cigarettes it could be like rolls of toilet paper that they pay us and <laughs> try to get through it that way <laughs> yeah so yeah. what's your perspective 
what's your perspective on the toilet paper? That is just so ridiculous. I mean, I swear, it's just like, I just don't get it. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. Um, of all the things for people to hoard, um, it's, it's <laughs> for them to go to that is just mind boggling. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know why that was the, why that was the product of choice when all this, all this hit, but, um, but I always said, I, I think people are buying a toilet. Oh my gosh. What about you, yeah. John? Yeah, no, I, it, it was a little strange. Well, actually even more strange. Yeah, it's, it, it's been a crazy. I, th I think even more strange was the bottled water just because, uh, they're kind of related though, because our tap water can solve both problems, right? You, you know, you don't need a bottled water as much because obviously if it was a super emergency, you're still going to get to drink out of your, your tap, right? You could drink out of the sink. There are some people who couldn't think of that. And then you do a hose. So if you run out of toilet paper, there are other options, a shower, a hose, there's something else that could work. Uh, yeah. You know, as far as stocking up on the, the TP, I, I don't know. It's, it's, <laughs> You know, since uh, we've been quarantined, I have not really gone out to just go nuts on those things. I don't know what happened to Corey <laughs> because of his internet. He, Sorry about he's that. In line, he was, Corey was in line at Costco and the, he just got to the front. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do miss, I do miss, you know, you guys. And I remembered that we had this one event at the church and I think that was in Orange County, isn't it? where everybody just like, oh my God, they were rolling from laughing. And I was like, I couldn't even record because I couldn't stop laughing uh, because of you guys. You guys were just so amazing. And uh, I, I can't wait for you guys to do it online and start pushing it out there. I mean, seriously, if, if you are willing, I would go ahead and set up something for you guys and, and make it work. Yeah, I think so. I mean, there's definitely no shortage of comedic material now with the uh, virus. You know, it's, I mean, it's a, it's not a, a funny subject in the sense that there's certainly people who are struggling, uh, whether it's health or some financially because maybe their job didn't continue or they have to wait for an income until they go back to work. So there's definitely some pieces. But because of that, that's why it's so, uh, I think, important to help people laugh through it, uh, not at people but just to help them laugh through the situation uh, because there really are some things that are quite humorous I mean everybody's in a mask now and this mm -hmm. six foot of uh, social distancing uh, even the whole essential and non-essential jobs like we obviously found out that we're not essential to the economy because oh, we're not allowed to keep working and people are you know closing down shows or whatnot uh, but at the same time it's um, it's just just be, be worth, I think, doing some things to help people laugh. I think that's okay. what we're doing right now. You know, um, I have been using TikTok. Have you heard yeah. of that? Oh, okay. yeah. All the kids are using it, you know? Oh, yeah. my gosh. It yeah. was, I know it's a lot of kids there, and I'm too old <laughs> for it, right? But the application <laughs> is pretty cool yeah. that you can just enjoy and, and just have fun with it. And I think, John, with some of your jokes, you could just go there and just, like, lighten up some of the kids because some of them are depressed yeah i mean yeah. seriously that's where i saw the post where the kids are crying and wow. so i think you know if you can take the time to just go in there and just do a quick joke and you know make them laugh i think that would be great yeah no i agree i didn't know that you could do I, for some reason i need to check it out because for me TikTok, all i ever see are everybody dancing and uh and there's like yes goofy dance <laughs> And I don't, I don't know about that, but I'm not a dancer per se. But You don't have to dance. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, kids would always be dancing. They're going to have so much fun with that application. But at the yeah. same time, that is how you can reach. Uh, hold on. I think uh, Corey is trying to get in again. That would be uh, great. If, yeah. We miss Corey. Yeah. Corey, <laughs> he keeps going in and out. <laughs> He's trying to get a come in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh my That's God, we, we're definitely going to have to uh, figure out how to make this work for us. I mean, I know there are some, um, you know, especially with the Zoom call right now, they are having trouble with the bandwidth because sure. everybody is on Zoom. Everybody's on it, man. Yeah, everybody's yeah. on it. Corey's like a kid with a fake ID, he keeps trying to get in, but then like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> There you go. Hey, there Corey, you're is. back. Corey. Corey's oh, back. Uh, yeah, but I, I, I at Costco. <laughs> 
Well, I tell you, I am excited to um, be more creative in terms of, you know, showcasing people uh, online. And that's why I, I thought this is going to be a perfect call for all of us and just figure out how we can make that happen. I, I think yeah. that, you know, with Corey's uh, sarcastic jokes, <laughs> so, <laughs> I love his jokes. And, and, and your joke, John, it's like, oh my God, the experience that you, you tell people, like, I remember that joke. What was that um, about the, uh, about San Bernardino? You remember that um, your joke? <laughs> Well, I live in San Bernardino, so yeah, I have some fun with the city. It's uh, it's, it's it's not the wealthiest town in the in the in Southern California, but it's uh, fun. Yeah, it's fun to have fun with people. To be honest with yeah. you, yeah, yeah, I've I've got a few jokes about San Bernardino. Oh my gosh, yeah, I I know, I've heard some of those. And <laughs> so, how about the idea of having a TV show? You guys, we should have a TV show for you. I think it would be great. I think uh, it's just putting a concept together and then seeing what we could do. I think it'd be awesome, though. Yeah, it'd be a lot of fun. Okay. Well, you know that uh, we have Roku distribution, and you can I see, see my banner, right? Yeah, I see all the shows. The do you have yeah. Roku channel? I don't know. I probably do. YouTube, I have, and I don't know. Okay, Roku. so we are in YouTube, but uh, Roku is different. I mean, you're talking yeah. about streaming and and getting all all kinds of movies and all kinds of uh, you know videos in there that you can watch uh, on demand. So, mm -hmm. and and the uh, Roku um, equipment is only like thirty some dollars. Okay. It's it's, a, it's an equipment that you had to plug into your TV, and that was it. And then you just uh, have to okay. open an account for Roku, and then make sure that you put in your code, and then there you go. You get to access all the movies. I mean, it's really, I love it. That's why yeah. we have all our TV shows in there and people can just watch all your episodes, you know, from the beginning to the end. And if you have a hundred episodes there, you can put a hundred episodes and they can watch all of those. So, and oh, you can have good. a subscription if you want to. And I think that would be perfect for you guys. I love to, to yeah. keep watching some of your jokes. I mean, you know, seriously, I just miss, uh, I just miss that. Anyway, yeah, for I'm, sure. I mean, yeah. So I'm hoping that um, this call, you know, uh, we can collaborate and make it happen. And definitely, I want to reach out again. I'll, I'll definitely talk to Corey and, yeah. and talk to maybe a, the other comedians that you guys have, you know, let us know if we can collaborate. You sure. can do a webinar and put all these invitations to people and have you guys on board and just, you know, have fun. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Yeah, well, so I think a couple things too. Even you know, a webinar would be great, even just for comics, because a lot of them are asking the question, "How do I go on these platforms? What are the best ones to use? You know, how do I best get my message, my material out there so that people can be entertained, but also, um, I know my own philosophy is to yes, make people laugh. In fact, um, my tagline is funny for a change, okay. and uh, point that I go for is to help people laugh but also making a difference so that there's change in our communities, change in people's lives. Uh, that's kind of what we go for. Um, so, and you know, a lot of stuff out there that's supposed to be funny just isn't funny. It's like dirty or whatever. Yeah, and that's the thing. And that's the thing, right. you know, uh, a lot of the jokes out there just, you know, it's just not comfortable to watch to or to listen right. to because right. it's just, it's just too uncomfortable. Yeah. So that's, you know, I think it's, I think a lot of comics have a message like that, a voice that they're trying to get out there. I, I think learning learn to use these platforms would be awesome. And then, of course, yeah, bringing people in and having, a, if you will, a show, a pop-up show or a, a digital platform show. I think that's a great idea. We, we definitely should look okay. into that and figure out how to do that. Well, I'm so glad to hear from you, John, and I really, really appreciate this time. Um, how's the family? Every, everybody's good? Yeah, yeah, people are safe. We, you know, we, we, uh, the good thing about San Bernardino is even the virus don't want to come over here. So, so we're safe over here in the hood, but uh, it's, just, it's just being tied up and just being with each other uh, every day without any access to anything outside. It's, but it's, everybody's safe. We're good. Are you guys good? You're, I know you said yes. you're home, you're your friends and family. Well, and my, uh, my mom, she's been doing some blogging and... <laughs> Wow. In, Tag in Tagalog. You know, I tell you, she is wow. on, she is focused on putting all of her videos in YouTube. Nice. Uh, 
she is dancing. She is talking to wow. the people from the Philippines because, you know, she has a lot of um, connections still in the Philippines and family, of yeah. course. And yeah. she's trying to give them a lot of advices, a, a lot of advice to uh, make sure that they stay healthy and yeah. uh, trying to keep them strong and all that. So she worries. That's why she's doing all this blogging and she didn't realize that she has the <laughs> talent to do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Is, you know, you said Tagalog? She's doing it Tagalog? Is that what she said? Yeah, that's the language in the Philippines. Oh, the Philippines, yeah, yeah. Yes. To, to and you know that she, when my mom did a karate TikTok, because uh, <laughs> she is a uh, first female uh, black belter in the Philippines, so wow. she's known for karate. So she yeah. was doing a little bit of it. I mean, you know, it's been a long time for her, but she's still showing some of the techniques and just having fun with the dance. And she did That's this cool. one last uh, video where it was a good exercise for seniors. And it was just a very mm -hmm. light exercise where she had a little bit of combination of karate in it. So it's, nice. It's so cool. <laughs> she, yeah, she can start. You've seen late night, they got those exercise videos and stuff they sell. She should put something together and have like a late night commercial when yeah. you're you know, falling asleep in front of TV and you wake up and you can buy some, uh, some karate and, uh, you know, get in shape. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I think it'd be good too, John, to see you um, look at some of the videos out there and then you you provide your uh, thoughts about it. It's like, you know, some of your funny comments. <laughs> it's like, that would right. be so cool. To <laughs> we, could, we could review video top uh, video products and stuff. And, yeah. I know. That would be so awesome, John. That's that's a good content for, for YouTube, especially. <laughs> I mean, do you know that you can monetize it, right? I did not, but if oh my God. monetize, it sounds like a great idea. <laughs> let, let me tell you, let me tell you, John, if you do a YouTube and, and you really put it um, consistently, you yeah. could make uh, in, in five figures to six figures. Wow. wow. Did you know that? Especially no, how I, talented you are. No, I didn't know that. I, I'm still okay with toilet paper, but yes. <laughs> Five but, sounds great. but it's it's this is the time to really explore it john because you're so yeah. talented i wish i am your manager and i would just take care of it for you <laughs> but, well we might have to talk about that <laughs> but the thing is really uh seriously you you have to really spend time on putting your materials and just sure. uh, just go live on youtube just yeah. open it's yeah. free yeah to open the live streaming in youtube okay. and okay. just do every like, you know, maybe uh, 10, 10 minutes of a, a, even maybe like five minutes. Right, every right. And you do it once a week, however often you want it. The more, if you create about a hundred videos and, you know, in six months, I'm telling you, you're going to make a lot of money. This girl huh. was making, she started getting like about $25,000. Okay. And then all of a sudden it went up to like 200,000. 200,000, like in a year, you mean? or uh... Yeah, in a year. Wow. Yeah, so I'm telling you, this is where people need to recognize that if you have talent, you got to be yeah. online yeah. and use everything, you know, just use your talent. Huh. That's all you need. And That's you'll good. make so like much it. money and you'll yeah. make people so happy too at the same time. I mean, right. what else can you ask for? That's like no, a God good. even gift, right? It's a good combination. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So cool. I, I can't wait for you to do that. Okay. Because yeah. I want to watch some. I need to watch you, you know, <laughs> or so I can, I can have fun here. I can't be so lonely here and just, not, you know, oh my that's, gosh, I'm going to, it's killing me. I'm an extrovert person. You know, I need people to, that's awesome. to watch. That's awesome. Yeah. We'll have to, anyway. we'll have to start working on that. That's a good idea. That's a good okay. point. I got well, to cut my, cut my hair though. The thing I miss the most is I can't go to a barber. So my hair is a mess. It's not even like it's a hard haircut, but it's still, you know, you miss being able to go out and get some of the simple little things. It's like, what? Yeah. What about your wife? Does she cut uh, hair? Well, she's going to learn because. <laughs> well, I learned it. I did yeah. learn that before. Yeah. I, and I know how to cut. You just have to do it. And yeah. you might have a little crooked hair here and there, but it's practice. Oh, it's I don't even care. If we, just, we could just take it all off. It's fine with me, man. Yeah. And, and you I, save money. Now you you don't have to pay. How much do you pay for the barber? Um, oh, gosh, yeah. Whatever like, it is. 15, 20 bucks, probably. No, you can say that now. You don't have to pay that because you're going to learn how to do it. Seriously. More, more toilet paper, less haircut. <laughs> Hair. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> oh, my God, John. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm really, really excited for you. I think this is going to be actually a good opportunity yeah. for you to be highlighted because you're going to be forced to learn online. 
comedy. No, it's a good, it's a very good point. And I've been working with some guys to maybe yes. work writing some stuff. And so, yeah, you're absolutely right. I think that would be a good, uh, it's a good season for that. It's a yeah. good time for thinking about how to do that. So just yeah. start it and, and don't even, yeah. don't even wait for other people. Just, just yeah. do it yourself for now because just you're going to be testing it yourself. And then you're going to, um, you know, and then when you have, when you're able to fine tune it, then you can bring other people That's a good and you can make yeah. it, but, but you have to learn it first and just go there and just try yeah. it. Nobody's going to watch because you might not have any, I don't know if you already have a subscriber, but if you don't have anybody, then uh, no matter what you do, no one is seeing it and you can always delete it later. It's true. <laughs> unlike, unlike live performances, you cannot delete them later, but yeah. Exactly. All right, John. So let me know if I can help you. Okay. Um, anyway, great. I'm here because I want to see you perform. <laughs> awesome. Okay. No, I appreciate that. Thank you for the Yeah, anytime. Yeah, well, you make take... sure you get Corey, Corey back because he's a really good guy. I know. And uh, I, think, I think you would enjoy having him. Yeah, we need to take care of our internet reception. So, um, yeah. as, you know, I'll have to figure out what to do. That's where the creativity comes in. If you have a problem, right. you always right. find a solution. If you don't have a toilet paper, there's water and soap, right? <laughs> <laughs> there's a thing called a shower, you know. You yes, exactly. <laughs> so it's like, don't be so... Uh, you know, selfish and so unkind right. to other people because, you know, right. you're hoarding the toilet paper. Jesus Christ. I mean, I mean, seriously, yeah. no, that I is not you. the answer. No, no. Jesus is the answer, but not toilet paper. Yes. I mean, yes, Jesus is the answer, on, but not on the this toilet Easter paper. weekend. <laughs> Especially. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Right. <laughs> Why? Well, how is the uh, ministry for you? Good, good. Actually, it's one of the things that have been uh, a pleasant surprise is to see the church uh transfer itself from being live and brick and mortar to uh on the internet and i think it's helped to in a weird way because it has simplified the message and then it has made it about the the real i guess premises of the faith and not all this other stuff and i'm mean, of course everybody's ready to go back but it's helped i think force a large generation of people into the digital world so i think that's yes. really great and, th and, you know, things like uh, uh, digital chat platforms and all of that have helped people, even though we're not, you know, in person with each other, you can still see a face, you can still talk, you can still have some interaction. So I think all those things have been actually very positive. Now it's just, you know, I know a lot of people are looking for answers. They don't always look in churches for answers, but this weekend, Easter is when we're recording this, is hopefully going to be a huge weekend where people will check in because it's safe. If you've never been to a church, it's safe because you can watch online, but you're not, you're not having to go into the building. And so even that. Yeah. Been a, the only I, thing is, you know, if they, if the church has a good setup for donation, then they will right. be able to keep doing right. it. So people just need to be right. aware that if you're watching, make sure that you uh, yeah. take the time to donate so they can yeah, keep that's, doing what they're doing. That's actually very appreciated. I, yeah. yeah. It's the one thing, the first two or three weeks, I think a lot of churches were a little worried because you know, people weren't, well, I'm not in a building, so I don't know where to give or what to give and, and all of that. But I think, I know our church and some like it have uh, seen dramatic increases over the last week or two, because I think once people realize we're going to be in this for several weeks, mm -hmm. uh, they started to look into <clears throat> options. So there's online options. There's, uh, we have mail-in options, online options. They can even bring it by personally. There's different ways to be able to do that. So that's really helped. And well, imagine what we were just talking about, YouTube, okay? If right. the church can go through this process on making it digital, and that will support whatever the church is doing. Right. So right. it's just opening up a different way of communication right. and understanding that this is a new generation, new era for us. So right. we'll just have to embrace it and adjust. <laughs> if you do. Right? And, well, and I think the biggest thing the church had to face, to be honest with you, ours did, is are we answering questions that people are asking? And that's what you found yes. too by going digital because you have people who aren't necessarily church goers. So they're, you, you know, if you want to maintain and keep them and they want them viewing, you got to answer questions they're asking. And for a long time, unfortunately, churches have asked, asked I should be, I should say, are planning to answer questions uh, that no one's really asking. So well, I, I think that's going to be a huge switch as well. Okay. So here's, here's one more thing, John. Okay. Um, you know that there's a lot of talented people that are, are that are at home right now, and and for you guys, you're needing a lot of people who can help you on the digital um, uh, mm -hmm. setup or structure. 
So right. I think this is a good opportunity for you to also tap into those people and yeah. give them an opportunity to work with you and help you with the setup and then make it all work for the church. So right. again, right. you know, people are available right now. A lot of them have lost their job and, but they're, they're totally talented and they can help the church. I agree with that. Yeah. I th I, and I think that uh, it's one of the things that we've put a lot of emphasis on and trying to discover kind of new talent and people who are, like you mentioned, you know, it may just be a temporary season, but they're, they're not working. Uh, even if they're working, they're not, working, they're not dealing with commuting and all that because they're doing a lot of it from home. So it's, yeah, it's definitely a great opportunity to get people plugged in. And that's also one of the ways that people, you know, one of the things that people say about churches even is, if you want to keep people in a church, then give them a friend and give them a job. <laughs> yes. It doesn't mean necessarily a paying job. It could be just volunteering. But if you give them something significant to do that hits what they're good at mm -hmm. and friends, then they're going to stick around. And I think that, you know, eventually the more they're around, the message starts to make more sense. They start to see what's happening. And, and that's when you create a movement. It goes beyond just having a church. You start to think about a movement. And I think that's what our world needs. We, we, we need a movement yeah. of people. <clears throat> who care and who have good answers to great questions uh, and obviously point people, at least my belief is to point people to uh, our savior, who's Jesus Christ. So that's yes. kind of what I'm about. You know, one thing I love about Zoom calls is that uh, people are totally listening and paying attention and we're not distracted because, and there are times that on the networking, when you're face to face, people are on their phone and they're looking at other people. They're not listening to you, but look at this. We're having our one-on-one -on -one communication. I'm right. I'm the only one talking to you, and you're you're the one talking to me. So you know, understand that this is such a great experience for Absolutely. everybody. In yeah. spite of all the bad things that are happening with the coronavirus, which I think that right. is God's control. We can't do anything about it. We just have to let Him take care of that. But at right. the same time, it's putting us in a different situation where we're all. Yeah. experiencing this beautiful way of communication and that's yeah. what people need to focus on more than anything yeah. else I, t I think that's good that's a good message and you're right we're all in a place of discomfort but i think how amazing it is that this didn't happen 15 or 20 years ago when we didn't have this kind of technology or this kind of opportunity so at mm -hmm. least we can still communicate we can still get out there and get it you know get regular folks talking because if you're like me after i listen to the news through a couple cycles i get kind of tired of it it always sounds a little bit more doom and gloom than maybe it should mm -hmm. be. Uh, and it's not as quite balanced as, as I'd like it to be. But, but when you get around, just talk to the regular folks like yourself or others who are just help, helping us have a voice, um, the, dot, the narrative becomes less scary. It becomes a little more hopeful. It's like, we're going to get through this. You know, we'll be okay. We just have to help each other and, and do it together. And, not yes. and I, think, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I mean, imagine how long have you and I been talking? I think this is the longest time you and I have talked. <laughs> and we're always busy because I'm always that's busy. I'm just like, true. I'm just texting you. Okay, John, are you available right. for this? That's it. That's the right. only conversation you and I have. But that's true. seriously, this is so cool. And I'm going to yeah. put this on YouTube by just, okay. uh, just so you know, <laughs> this awesome. is going to be, uh, this is going to be good for people to, to listen to or to watch and yeah. learn from it. And then they can't wait to, uh, for you to, put your videos because they're going to watch it watch it too <laughs> it's like a world premiere now they're going to have to be looking for these videos yeah they're like hey yes. and now where are they at so you're absolutely right i'm gonna have to get busy yeah. well i am so glad that we had this amazing conversation thank you so much Thanks. and you're such an amazing person uh john oh, well, such a gifted you. talent and i hope you uh, get the the level of success that you really need uh, for your well, uh, talent okay thanks Murray no appreciate it. and thank you for you're always helping people in business and you're always trying to help move especially the small business community and uh, locally as uh, even regionally and so thanks for everything you're doing because uh, I know you've told me before your story how you were kind of uh, working within a corporate setting for a while and then you kind of decide you want to help people and, and that's what you've been doing and yeah I, think it's I love it well I and that's what that's what's going to get hurt obviously right now with the virus the most is the local and sort of small business piece. But I think folks like you can help people rebound and think of creative ways to shift and to adjust. And so appreciate, you know, appreciate all yeah. the encouragement. Well, you're welcome. And again, you know, I, it's, it's a blessing to, to know you, John, and to really uh, 
you know, uh, see your talent because I admire your talent. Seriously, I, you make me happy, make me laugh so much. You okay, guys, thanks. Corey and Six yeah. Foot Slim. I mean, oh, you're, yeah. you're very amazing. And I, that's why I wish that I could have a TV show for all of you and yeah. just, you know, let people know who you guys are. Well, we, we may have to work on that, especially now with everything the way it is. So we'll, we'll work toward that. Yeah, it's a public announcement. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's right. I just I just <laughs> my life away. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I work, John. You know how That's it funny. works. <laughs> just reeling me in. Huh? All right. I'm calling in on you. All right, I got you. <laughs> anyway, all right, John. Well, you have an amazing day. And, um, right. you know, uh, let me know again if you need any help and I'll be here for you. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. After we're done, I'm gonna start learning Tagalog, and then uh, we'll put that. <laughs> <shit back. laughs> That'll be awesome. <laughs> all right. Well, you take care, John. Okay. All right. Thanks, man. All right. Send my regards to your family. Yeah. You too. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.